people spend, people waste, not even spend, people waste 10 years of their life, 20 years of their life, their entire life wishing, dreaming, fantasizing, watching everybody else thinking they got lucky without even trying to change their life. We need to have a chat and a conversation because you need to stop watching everybody else in order to feel better. You need to stop watching their stories. You need to stop watching their videos. You need to stop stalking them on Facebook, on Instagram. Like if you are waking up in the morning, the first thing that you are doing is looking at somebody else's account profile, their life. That is why you're feeling sad. That is why you're feeling depressed. That is probably why you're broke because you are not doing anything besides look at everybody else's life to feel better about yours. Now, this might be coming off like very harsh, but I'm saying it this way because I love you guys so much and I am seeing way too many people get stuck in this cycle of constantly fantasizing everybody else's life, just like falling in love with everybody else's life besides their own. It's like in order for them to get away from their own mind or their life, they go look at somebody else's. Now, that doesn't mean you cannot do that, right? Because of course, that's why we watch reality TV and that's why we watch movies and that's why we have YouTube and social media and influencers and celebrities and and people that you just love to watch but you need to realize if that is actually hurting you more than it is helping you because too many times I see people just loving everybody else's life but then it's like they hate theirs right it's like they're on social media for like three hours and then they turn off their phone and they're like oh my gosh my life sucks I hate my relationship I hate my job I hate my career I don't like the way I look and this is happening because you're looking at everybody else and you're wishing that you had that life. And instead of wishing, what you actually want to be doing is changing your own life. And this used to happen to me like literally all the time. I remember when I graduated college, I was 21 years old. I was living at my dad's house and every single day, I would look at everybody else on social media. I would romanticize their life and fantasize and wonder like, I just wish... I lived that life. But back then, I was in a really bad, like, mental state. So anything that I looked at was kind of like, oh, they have that, but you don't. Like, they have that, but your life is worse. Or like, they're good at this, and you're not good at that. Like, it was basically hurting me to a point where I had no choice but to stop looking at everything, everyone, just like, honestly, everything on social media. I just stopped. And you'll never guess what happened. Like, you will never guess what happened. When I stopped doing that, it forced me to mold my life in a way that made me love my life way more than everybody else's. That I didn't need to go watch everybody else on social media or even just like drown away on reality TV or movies. I was so in love with my life that like, Every single day, I would much rather go do something that was fun for me, go hang out with my friends, go work out, go work on my business, go make some money, go like, you know, create a new recipe, you know, make dinner. Like I was doing things that actually felt really good in my life because I stopped romanticizing other people. So now sometimes it's easier said than done, right? You might be watching this video and you're like, okay, I understand that maybe I shouldn't be like drowning myself watching everybody else, but it's like, how do I make my life better? Like, I would much rather be on vacation every single day because that's what you see people do on social media versus going to work every single day. Or I would much rather be in a loving relationship, but right now I'm on like the verge of divorce, right? Like whatever you're experiencing, the first thing that you want to do is bring awareness to the fact that you can actually change your life, right? If you're just drowning every single day and you don't even believe you can change your life, that is why you feel depressed, sad, you know, you're full of doubt and fear and like you just wake up with anxiety. Like you shouldn't be waking up with anxiety and feeling so sad about your life if you just woke up because nothing has even happened during the day, right? But that's the first thing is realizing and understanding you have the ability to change your life. And back when I was on the verge of literally just like <laughs> quitting everything and not wanting to do anything in my life, I had this epiphany where if I actually want to change my life, I have to do it. Like no one is gonna gonna, gonna come to save me. No one is gonna do it for me. I have to be the person that is going to change my own life. So after you come up with that, like after you realize that, after you accept that, after you just like ingrain that into your brain, the second thing you, second thing you want to do is start off with one area in your life that you want to adjust, fix, and change. Now for me back then, the area that I really wanted to just like 
literally improved so much was my wealth, was my finances. I wanted to be making my own money because I was living at my dad's house. I was only making like $500 a month and I didn't want to work a nine to five job. I wanted to move out of my dad's house, actually move out of Iowa and move to Florida, which is where I live now. And in order for me to do that, I had to make my own money. I had to build my own business. So back then I was also going through a bad heartbreak. I wanted to get fit and I wanted to be in like the perfect shape. I wanted to make friends. Like I wanted to do all those things, but I realized the first stepping stone in me feeling better and changing my life was changing my financial state. So I basically just like... Like, I didn't say stop working on everything else, but the only thing that I really focused my attention to was wealth and money. And you'll never guess what happened. <laughs> I stopped watching other people. I stopped comparing myself to other people. I stopped telling myself when I did look at other people's successes and wins that like, oh, they're lucky or like, oh, they're just good at this thing. I was like, no, they have it. So that means I can too. And I can have it probably even better than they have it. And that's the type of thinking that I started to adapt and adopt. And then all of a sudden I started to make $10,000 a month and then $20,000 a month and then $50,000 a month. And I ended up making like multi six figures in my 20s. Okay, so what you want to do is zone into one area of your life that you want to change. Okay, zone into that one area. And honestly, don't even think about anything else but changing that. And the reason why I'm so like aggressive with this point is because like you're right now, you're probably on the verge of falling way too deep in the hole of just honestly like depression hitting your life and just like giving up or you're on like the verge of actually like doing a full 360 and changing your life so when i say like literally don't focus on anything else but that one thing i mean it and i recommend doing this for at least at least 90 days at least three months don't do it for a week it's not enough. Don't do it for two weeks. It's not enough. Don't do it for a month. Do it for 90 days. You need to do this consistently for 90 days in order for your life to actually change. And the thing is, it might not even take that full 90 days. When I zoned in and I focused on my money, when I focused on my business, when I focused on like growing my audience on social media, I saw a change in 30 days. I was making $500 a month. And then the very next month I made $10,000. And it was because I was zoned in. I was focused. I was consistent. And like, I basically just blocked everything else out. Nothing else mattered beside my goal. Now you probably already know, after you zone into that area that you wanna fix and change, the third thing, or I think we're on the third step, what you wanna do after is take just like relentless action towards it. Just take relentless action towards it. You wanna keep in mind, like this just gets me every single time. This gets me every single time. At the end of the day, it's not even the fact that you have to take the right action to get your goal or take the right action to feel better. It is just taking action in general. It's about seeing progress and seeing progression. And for me, I did not know how to make $10,000, but I just started to take big action. And then every single day I came up with like, oh, I took this, I like, I, I post on social media and I got engaged in it. Like maybe I'll post again and then I got a client. Like, oh, someone is selling a course. Maybe I'll buy that to learn more about how to market, how to sell. Like every single day, the actions basically just built on top of each other. And I just start to listen to my intuition. I'm like, okay, what do I need to do today in order to get to my goal, in order to feel better? I would ask myself that every single day. If I woke up feeling like shit, I did not dwell. I did not sit there and be like, oh, it's gonna be a bad day. I was like, okay, what do I wanna do? What do I need to do in order to feel better in this moment and in order for me to actually reach my goal in this one area that I'm focusing on right now? And every single time it, I came up with an answer because your body knows you have an intuition and you need to follow it. Okay, you need to. So that's what I started to do. I just started to take big, relentless action towards it. Okay, big relentless action towards it. If you commit to yourself for doing this 90 days, every single day, big relentless action towards it, like you won't even recognize yourself. You won't in the best way possible because you will literally do a complete 360 in your life. And I'm just so like, you guys can feel my energy right now. And I am so passionate about this work because I know there are like people spend People waste, not even spend, people waste 10 years of their life, 20 years of their life, their entire life, wishing, dreaming, fantasizing, watching everybody else thinking they got lucky without even trying to change their life. It makes me so 
Honestly, it makes me mad, but also just makes me so sad because if I didn't commit to myself in, in zoning in and changing my financial situation, changing the way I even looked at myself, changing my relationships and my health and like my fitness, if I didn't do that, I would still be so depressed. I would still be in that state where everybody else just like was lucky and they just had the best life ever and i would just be like probably still living at my dad's house like i want you guys to realize you are dedicating yourself for 90 days for six months for a year for like two three years of your life no matter how long it takes for you to change your life for life versus you doing the exact same thing feeling bad about yourself for the rest of your life like if you think about it 90 days even a year even two years is nothing compared to living a shitty life like take that in for a sec if you think committing to yourself for 90 days is too too much time then you're just choosing to feel bad about yourself every single day and then you can't like you can't do anything about it once again nobody's going to change your life for you except yourself so instead of watching everybody else and feeling bad about you just do this instead right and i promise you it'll work and it works because i've done it for myself numerous times i've had so many of my friends do it so many of my clients do it and i know so many of you guys have already done it and you're going to do it again or you're going to do it for the first time and then one day you will wake up and you will never even need to feel the need to watch everybody else to feel better you'll just want to because you're going to feel so grateful for their life you're gonna feel so so blessed that they also get to live live a life that's just so amazing like you're gonna look at other people and you'll be like oh my gosh like way to go congrats for them you're gonna applaud them because you are just so good in your life like for me now when i'm on social media when i see other people win when i come across somebody who has something that i might not even have right now i'm like oh my gosh that's amazing they have that that means it's it's on its way to me too the reason why I'm seeing it is because it's meant for me as well. Like anything anybody has, you have it too. It's meant for you as well. That's why it's like when you think about like last thing and then I'm going to sign off. But it's like when you think about a yellow car, that's all you start to see is yellow cars. So if you're thinking about wanting to make more money, buying the love of your life, buying a brand new car, moving to a different location, and then all of a sudden you see everybody else doing it, don't get mad because they have and you don't. That is basically guidance and that is basically intuition, God, universe source whatever you believe in telling you you are next but it's not going to happen if you don't actually believe in it comment below let me know if this helped you guys because i just want you guys to not just even feel better feel fucking amazing every single day and this is going to be your moment in order for you to get there and as always do not forget to subscribe we are on the journey of reaching 100,000 subscribers and i do not care how long it takes because i already know it is on its way to me but if you guys loved like this video any of my other videos and you have not subscribed subscribe okay because i come out with not just weekly honestly twice a week sometimes three times a week videos on my channel that really just helps you build the most unforgettable life by being your own boss and make your own money so you can actually live life because that is what life is about so that's all for today i love you guys so much and until next time make sure that you stay unforgettable